The past couple of weeks, we have touched on some of the more difficult parts of our journey up the Sea of Cortez. Adjusting to the beautiful remote anchorages of the sea has had its challenges. What are we going to do? I want to leave, but how do we get outside to steer the boat? To be completely out of touch from friends and family back home for months on end has been difficult. But we're so proud of ourselves. We've pushed beyond our comfort zone. We've learned so much. We've sailed to a ton of amazing anchorages. We've only run our engine for 36 hours, over eight weeks, and we've been to 29 anchorages, and this 400 miles is super rough. I think it's close to like 500 miles from La Paz to Puerto Penasco, and we're about 80 miles from there, but then you add in a few miles for tacking, and you're not always going like a direct line. That's really rough. Maybe when I edit this video, I can work it out exactly. But that's pretty awesome. And here we are at another monumental milestone. When you've planned, read, watched, and researched this lifestyle like so many of you are now, some places will stand out to you and they might even become a place you dream of visiting. Bahia de Los Angeles is definitely one of those spots for us. The Bay of LA is about 10 miles across at its longest point. It consists of many beautiful protected anchorages and is sprinkled with islands. There is one small town affectionately referred to as the village. This friendly town is so far off the beaten path that there is no cell service and the some 800 inhabitants lived without electricity up until 2007. The Bahia de Los Angeles Biosphere Reserve protects the beautiful ecosystem of islands, stunning beaches, and the crystal clear ocean connecting it all. Home to many unique animals, such as whale sharks, coyotes, mobula rays, and so much more. To say it's a magical, off-the-beaten-path location is an understatement. This has got to be one of Mexico's best hidden gems. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick, our kids, Thomas and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids, and never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans, and so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, I play with I play with boats. And explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. I just can't stop singing. Oh, how baby, I love you. Well, we made it to the Bay of LA. The word that comes to mind to describe the Bay of LA is hot. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's beautiful desert. Like if you check out the landscape behind me, wow, it's so beautiful. There's so many different colors to desert that I just never really realized. The water is very warm, like 34 degrees. The ocean let's, is clear. Let's, the air temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, yes. Fahrenheit right here. The water is 34 degrees Celsius, a Fahrenheit right here. It doesn't really cool down through the night. Um, then you get this wind that we're experiencing right as I picked up the camera and the wind is hot. It is hot wind. You actually prefer there to be no wind because the wind feels like someone's blasting a hair dryer on you. One really cool thing is we have been sailing off anchor a ton more. We are barely running our engine anymore. It is awesome. We've gone through like 15 gallons of fuel since La Paz to Bay of LA. It's been a busy eight weeks. I wasn't here for all of it. Some of it I was in Canada for. We've done a lot. Now we are going to pull up the anchor, raise the main, or the other way around, raise the main, pull up the anchor, and sail out of here. We are currently in Lamona, which is in the south end of the bay. And today we're heading to La Gringa, which is at the north end of the bay. There is a full moon tradition in the Bay of LA. And the full moon is in a couple of days. So we're gonna bring you along for that tradition.
taking off. Delightful. Again, Bay of LA, it's good sailing. If you pick the right time of day, the wind sure shift around there, don't they? It's like. And gusty, <laughs> very gusty. Yeah, it rolls down off the hills and hits the water and just goes boom and then dies. This is good though. We've made it to La Gringa. Oh, wicked sail again. It's been fantastic. I wanted to be a little closer to the beach. We're in deep water, but there's all these campers over here. There's a big campground. Looks like everyone's just parked their vans and trucks and just set their campy selves up. Camp yourself. And what about that Are wind? you a campy self? The wind, it is a lot cooler. We don't have all these hot mountains here. It's just not something you think about, is it? All this hot desert land, any wind that blows over, just, oof, the temperature goes crazy. And then by the time it hits you, it's just like somebody opening the oven and a fan. But right now, it's coming straight off the water over this little spit, and it's glorious. The sailing in the Bay of LA so far has been fantastic. Nice, calm sea state, good amount of wind. <laughs> What's the plan for today, senor? Um, the full moon float thing. Full moon float thing. There is a lagoon here at La Gringa, and when the tides are big enough, you can float in with the flood tide and out with the ebbing tide. So we have, I think I counted nine boats, now another one arrived, 10. I think there's two more on the way. So there will be 12 boats. Many of them are kid boats. And we're all meeting up right after lunch to do the float, the full moon float. Yeah. So what we've heard about Bay of LA is August is the month that the majority of the boats are here. And the August full moon float is the like big one. This is just the warm up to the big one. But this is pretty busy. I know it is. There's like a lot of people. I know. 12 boats. 12 That's boats. That's like a lot of people. It'll the be really fun. we've been in for so long. Like. Last couple anchorages, we just had three or no boats, just us. Like, I know. That's it. It's the most boats we've been with for a while. Here you can see the lagoon at low tide. This whole area fills with water and it comes up over the sandbar. And the current becomes so fast. Here's Mick floating down out of the lagoon towards the ocean. And you can see he's just ripping along. After a full day in the sun, we made our way back to our boats only to notice the first whale sharks of the season had decided to make their way to La Gringa. Being in the presence of these beautiful and gentle giants was nothing short of breathtaking. We couldn't believe how peaceful and chill these guys were, cruising along, working on their dinner.
Whale sharks have a mouth that can stretch over a meter wide while feeding. Their eyesight is very poor, and when that big mouth is wide open, it's a little intimidating. But whale sharks are filter feeders, and so unless you're microscopic, you have nothing to fear. Whale sharks can live up to an entire century and give birth to live young, leaving them almost immediately to fend for themselves, which results in only about 10% of baby whale sharks surviving to adulthood. We felt very fortunate to witness the beauty of these endangered species. This anchorage in the Bay of LA spoiled us with the whale shark sightings, and we even began to differentiate and name the regulars that swam around our boat each morning and night during feeding times. place with the whale sharks and everything, but it's also quite a bit cooler. Mm -hmm. it, was hot really, at first. it was really hot at first, but this anchorage, where we, were, yeah. where we are now, is really, really good. Our first summer storm. Whoa! That was a huge, that was close. Whoa. Yeah, that's really cool. We've seen it from a distance, but this one came real close. We could see the lightning just over the hills here. The thunder we could feel through the boat. We already have whale sharks swimming around the boats this morning. So what are we gonna do today? We're just gonna enjoy the magic of the Bay of LA. This is by far one of our favorite anchorages in the Sea of Cortez for sure. It is magical here. So freaking cool. 